repeat sentence is a big problem. Uh, I found 90% of our students found the repeat sentence ex extremely difficult. It's difficult in a way that it's not something that we interact every day because normally we're talking in our own language with our friends or family. We don't do such a thing called repeat sentence in a daily basis. Whoever, have you ever listened a sentence from your partner and you repeat it back to him or her? So that's a bit odd. So that's something that our brand is not working properly. So the certain mistakes that we are making is a lot of you guys listen to the recording in the exam. What you did is you repeated this sentence right after you hear this sentence. This progress has enabled the rational identification of core machinery. This progress has enabled the rational analyzing of the poor machinery. Under this case, your first two words or three words of this repeat sentence are not going to get recorded. That means you are going to miss content before the audio record you. So make sure that be patient. You need to wait roughly three seconds. Another mistake says some of you guys are following the intonation about the speaker. So the speaker said, Professor Smith is going to be late for today's lecture. And then some of you guys start to do the same intonation. Professor Smith is going to be late for today's lecture. So you added your intonation ups and down. You actually have pauses in the middle. It will influence your fluency at the same time. So make sure that you are you. Just do your own pace and your own intonation. You don't need to follow anyone else. Another mistake that happens in the exam is some of you guys are extremely slow because you have been told that you need to have a clear pronunciation. And so what you happen is you can start to do this. Professor Smith is going to be late for today's lecture. So this is a sentence, right? So when you talk slower, it's more like you are representing everything you have to someone else. So whatever the mistake that you have, it's very easy for people to see. So you don't want such thing. So in the repeat sentence, then make sure that you talk in a, in a normal pace. You don't want to be too slow. Because when you are too slow, what happens is one word might be recorded at two words. Let's say professor. If you talk very slow as professor, you might get recorded as pro and professor as two words. So that will lose your content mark at the same time of, and as your fluency. And another mistake what happens is some of you are not good at remembering a longer sentence and you stuck in the middle. Genetic and biochemical analyzers have generated a detailed portfolio of mechanisms. Cellular and genetic portfolio. Make sure that you don't stop. You have to repeat the sentence, whether in a mumble way, whether in another way. You need to make sure that you need to cover your content more than 80% of the content. If you have less than 80% of the contents, watch out. It's not good for you, okay? And then the worst mistakes what you make is you actually remember certain words at the beginning, but somehow you cannot remember the last three words or the last four words. There is absolutely no archaeological evidence to prove that Alexander the Great existed. There is no archaeological evidence that the, that proves that the Alexander is still... Under this case, obviously, you are having incomplete content. Be aware of this. You need to have at least a rough, complete content. Even though you're hearing halfway of the sentence, you need to repeat in a way that you understand it. You need to pretend that you know this. Be confident, okay? Okay, this is your repeat sentence. Next one is your describe image. All right. This one is your describe image. So describe image, before I start this, so I will uh, do a demo for you. So a demonstration about certain students are making the similar mistakes. So number one. I believe a lot of you guys in front of this video, you're gonna laughing at me. So a lot of you guys do this. Okay, my describe image. Ready? Let's go. There's a beautiful picture in front of me. I look closer at this beautiful picture. What I found is, oh my God, there are so many different colors, so many variations. There's something on the top looks like yellow. It's cute. There's something on the bottom looks like yellow. I found it's really fascinating. I loved it. I can imagine the inside of the picture and I love it. Overall, this is such a beautiful picture that I can imagine. This is so cute, so nice, so beautiful. Overall, this is a picture. So I believe a lot of you guys are doing this kind of describe image, right? So I can do this easily. I don't even need to look at any pictures. So the problem is, do you actually have any content 
is relevant to the picture. The Pearson exam is not that stupid, right? They give you different graphs, line graphs, bar graphs, pie, map, picture, table. You cannot just simply talk about anything. If today you are looking for a mark around 35, 50, no problem. You can do it because as long as you can talk, you can still get certain marks. But if you're someone looking for 65, 79, yes, contents are important because the guidebook tells you clearly that you need to describe an image that is relevant from the image. You need to talk about what is this picture and what about this picture. I include three significant changes. If you describe the way that I did, what's your three significant changes? What kind of information that is relevant to the picture? So make sure that you talk in a relevant way. You want me to do um, relevant talking? So let me do it. So you did it in this way. Um, the picture in front of me is a bar graph and it's about percentage world population by region. Um, uh, I can see the data is in percentage and then if this is a describe that you, you did, unfortunately, you're not having a good fluency because you have so many gaps, you're thinking, you're trying to analyzing. This is something that you try to avoid. Okay, in a nutshell, describe image is something that it's your opportunity that you get your fluency. So make sure that you talk in a fluent way. Try not to add a lot of analyzations or um, try not to analyze things. Just be simple and straightforward about the picture. Another mistake in the describing image what happened is you talk extremely fast. Fast in a way that the computer cannot even catch you. So I give you an example. So you're fast in a way, say this, the given presentation of the picture is providing the clear reflection of the map. The data is giving the form of colors, as you can be clearly seen from the demonstration that there are some variations, but towards the beginning, it's visible that the first factor is red, which shows over 3%. However, next dramatic changes is visible in yellow, situation looks different from previous one. All over another crucial part is covered by black, result indicates certain differences. Overall, the trend seems to be changing the given situation regarding the map. So if this is your speed, unfortunately, yes, you are too fast. You have 40 seconds to describe image. You don't need to be too fast. Um, you need to make sure that your speed is quite uh, quite normal with a, a little bit of attention that would do. And apart from that, what happens is a lot of you guys try to say, okay, I need to describe this image as much as I can. What you did is you talk too much. You start to talk your describe image from the beginning until the end. You actually used more than 40 seconds. You used maybe sometimes 50 seconds or you don't even know because you said, while I was doing this exam, I was kept on talking, talking nonstop, and then I realized, okay, the bar recording bar has stopped. So if this is you, unfortunately, you need to change it. If you talk too much, you are going to get penalty mark. So make sure that you don't talk too much. If you talk too less, again, you're not getting your mark. So if you're someone talk less than 25 seconds, 100%, you are missing your content. I'll give you an example. So as I said before, the way that they check your speaking is they use your recording wave to match their sample recording wave. The sample recording wave is this much long. Your recording wave is 25 seconds this much long. Do you really think they will give you a good speaking mark? You don't even have enough content by matching the original audio. So make sure that you talk roughly the same length, not too much, not too short. Another one is some of you guys what did is you talk about the scrap image, but you never gave a proper conclusion. You never mentioned at, its, at the end to say, what is this about overall? So make sure that you need to have a conclusion. The given presentation is a bar graph and is providing the clear reflection of muscles are accurate and the data is... Hey, Namnat, what are you talking about? <laughs>